Hello world, my name is Christina Kren from OneHealthLessons.com. Today I have the privilege to talk with Oscar from Kampala, Uganda. Hello Oscar, how, how are you? Hello Christina. How are you doing today? Absolutely fine. How are you doing? I am doing well, thank you. Um, you are a previous intern of uh, One Health Lessons. Um, could you share a, a little bit, some information about your experience with OHL? Thank you very much, uh, Christina. Um, first of all, I'm Oscar Arach, uh, a second year undergrad student from Makere University School of Public Health, and I'm doing environmental health science. Uh, I'm, I'm very passionate about One Health. And um, that's why I was able to serve, I mean, to do my internship uh, with One Health Lessons for a period of uh, three months. Uh, that was from August to October. Yeah, two months, I mean. And um, I joined One Health Lessons uh, because of uh, my love for environment, uh, general nature. I am um, in Uganda where I come from uh, it's um, it's uh, it, it's still a developing country and uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, challenges when it comes to people understanding nature and how nature can affect our life so it's based on that fact that I decided to do a course in environmental health sciences because it directly linked with One Health, and uh, it's a very good opportunity for me to uh, to champion the One Health concept. Yeah. Excellent. And what are your future career plans? Would you like to be a doctor, perhaps, or um, uh, exercise another profession? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my aspiration is to become an epidemiologist. And uh, in that line, uh, I will be able to not only uh, study about diseases that affect humans, but I, I can also study about diseases that affect uh, animals and all other creatures that live uh, within the same environment. Excellent. Um, do you think perhaps of uh, doing an exchange abroad? Like, would you like to study in another country? Absolutely. Um, I, would, uh, I would love to study in, uh, in Belgium and uh, especially at Antwerp University. Uh, I feel if I do masters in epidemiology from there, it will really give me enough experience and knowledge that I will need. Um, could you please tell me what was the most important lessons you learned from the internship? Uh, thank you very much. I learned a lot, uh, but the most important thing is uh, uh, the good mentorship, uh, the good mentorship of the, our curriculum developer, uh, Dr. Deborah Thompson. Indeed, uh, I learned um, confidence in public speaking. Uh, with uh, confidence in public speaking, I can boldly stand in front of the public and uh, send a message. And uh, if this, is, this was evident in the event that we had in Kampala. It was uh, about One Health, and uh, we were working with a rural water initiative. Uh, and uh, we really, really uh, did a great job. Uh, the public was able to appreciate the connections between One Health and, uh, and COVID-19, and also uh, the need of having sustainable water supply if we live in harmony with nature. So indeed, I've learned a lot. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. Um, I would like to ask you, how will you continue to be a One Health advocate outside of the internship? Thank you very much for that wonderful question. One Health is uh, very broad, and uh, I must say that 
I am serving right now in the government and uh, I have quite a lot of opportunity to talk to young people. Um, I feel if we must champion the idea of One Health, we need to start from the grassroots. I mean, uh, from the young generations. And in that uh, perspective, I always have a program called School Health Program that I run monthly. I go to schools and teach uh, children about uh, primary health care. And I feel it's easy for me now that I, I, I quite understand One Health uh, concept very well. It's easy for me now to bring in the One Health concept in my school health program. And in that direction, I'm sure I'll be promoting One Health in schools and also in community because uh, students are very good change agents. And once we put these messages clear to them, it will definitely reach the communities and explode awesome. Indeed, you're right. And actually, you know, young children are the uh, leaders of the future and we must teach them about the primar primary health care, uh, one health as a concept and uh, how to, uh, to teach them also, perhaps the most important thing is how to protect themselves. Um, you know, I have one more question for you. I would like to know, where did you hear about One Health before applying for the internship? Thank you very much. Uh, I've always known One Health right from school. Um, Makere University is, a, is one school that is championing One Health. We have uh, Oshia, we have Afrohan, we have quite very many representatives uh, that are working in One Health, even the lecturers. So I also did One Health as a course unit in microbiology, how the One Health approach is used in microbiology. So I've always wanted uh, an opportunity to perhaps work with One Health Commission, uh, though I never got an opportunity, but uh, through One Health lesson, I got to work with uh, Dr. Cheryl Strott, uh, who is the Commissioner of One Health. And uh, it was amazing. I got to know about the advert because one of the lecturers uh, put it in one of our domains and we were able to get it. And so I applied. I applied and I went through the interviews and indeed uh, I was able to be given the position of senior promotion intern. Excellent. Well, I am glad that you could have actually a wonderful internship uh, process. Um, I have just joined uh, One Health Lessons like three weeks ago, and I can say that it's uh, the activities are beyond my expectations. The team is very creative, and we are very flexible, and we are always open to hear the uh, ideas of other interns and students as well. So I believe, you know, if um, um, I knew about uh, um, One Health Lessons uh, from LinkedIn, actually, um, I heard uh, about One Health Lessons on LinkedIn, and uh, if this could reach me, uh, this information could reach uh, to, to me uh, by living in this part of the planet, in Istanbul mainly, imagine where it will reach in the future, perhaps in the Philippines, in Japan, in South Korea, etc., etc. So we truly hope that the concept of One Health will be promoted widely in the future. Thank you very much for your time, and uh, hopefully to talk to you soon again on a, um, um, a Zoom talk. Thank you. Thank you very much, Christina, for the interview. You're welcome. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Please. Take care, too.